Hi there, plant-based foodies. Welcome back to Physician in the Kitchen. I'm Dr. Monique, a board-certified family physician and founder of the brand Physician in the Kitchen. My passion is helping people discover, cook, and eat healthy plant-based foods without impacting their active schedules. And my mission is to fix America's health one plate at a time. Today, we're going to make my grilled cauliflower steaks with an oil-free pesto. This recipe is quick and easy and more economical than a traditional pesto recipe. But before we get into that, don't forget to click that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our plant-powered content. So, what is pesto anyway? Well, pesto is an Italian condiment, a paste that purists will tell you is made from five ingredients. Basil, pine nuts, garlic, Parmesan cheese, and olive oil. But I say a recipe is just a really easy checklist for ingredients to prepare food to eat. See what I did there? Or a guide to start you off and then you can tweak it and make it your own. The recipe I'm sharing today is more economical. My local grocery store sells pine nuts, six ounces for $12. And it avoids using oil, which some people have qualms or concerns about using. It also features a way to repurpose ingredients and cuts down on food waste, so it literally checks all the boxes for a delicious recipe. And when I tell you it couldn't be any faster to make, I'm not kidding. All you need is a food processor or high-powered blender, and you are minutes away from a restaurant-quality creation. We're then going to use that as a topping for our cauliflower steaks. Cauliflower tends to get the short stick as being broccoli's weird cousin and is often left on veggie trays after everything else is eaten. But I encourage you to give it a try and maybe add it for one or two or several of your meatless meals. It's a wonderful vegetable to use for meal prepping because it can be used in a variety of ways. Today, we're going to make a steak, bone in and all, but you can also make florets and cauliflower rice, for example. And be sure to check out your local farmer's markets for other colors such as green, purple, and orange cauliflower. It can be found in stores year-round, but it may taste better when it's in season, which is typically from December to March. Doctor's orders. Cauliflower is high in vitamin C and K. Vitamin C is important for your immune system. It helps your body heal wounds and supports strong and healthy bones. Vitamin K is important in helping your blood to clot and also plays a role in bone health. Cauliflower is also a great source of the B vitamin folic acid, which is important during pregnancy. And it is naturally fat and cholesterol free and low in sodium. Well, enough about the health benefits, let's get to cooking. Here are the ingredients for our oil-free pesto. Walnuts, garlic cloves, fresh basil, fresh spinach, vegan Parmesan cheese, and the juice from a jar of roasted bell peppers. Here are the ingredients for our cauliflower steaks. One cauliflower head sliced into about one inch thick steaks, vegan Worcestershire sauce, physician in the kitchen brand, of course, and some kosher salt. Okay, so here we're gonna prep our cauliflower. So first we're gonna get rid of these thick green leaves on the bottom. can just tear that away and you want to make sure your base is pretty flat because you're going to want to be able to cut it and so this one's already pretty flat so we're good so now we're going to go ahead and cut this into at least we should be able to get about two to three steaks out of this because you want that inner core part that's what's going to hold your cauliflower together kind of like a bone in a steak so we're going to Go ahead and kind of cut right here and see what we get. So there is our stem. So we're going to hold on to this though, because like I said, we can make florets out of this. You can puree it. You can make your own cauliflower rice. Lots of different options. Next, we're going to just cut about one inch thick steaks. So there we have our steaks. And I'm not going to cut any more because this is not going to hold together. So we're going to save this for making our florets that we can use in different ways later. So here are our cauliflower steaks. Let's get them ready to marinate. First, we're going to start with our cauliflower steaks that we've already prepped. And we're going to go ahead and get these marinating 
while we are making our pesto. So I'm gonna just clean up. This one has started to fall apart a little bit, but no biggie, it'll still be just as delicious. So we're gonna just trim off this thick part. We don't need that. And I'm going to put these in a bowl or dish to keep the sauce from going everywhere. And this one's pretty good, so it's good to go. Next, use a pastry brush to apply your sauce so it gets in all the nooks and crannies. I, of course, am using my Physician in the Kitchen brand of vegan Worcestershire sauce. If you don't have that, and why not, then use a mixture of spices of your choice, such as onion, garlic, smoked paprika, thyme, turmeric, etc. Since this is an oil-free recipe, you can dissolve those in a little bit of water or, for more flavor, low-sodium veggie broth and use that to base on your steaks. You could also use barbecue sauce as well. So you can do. make sure you do this step in advance, even if it's just for a few minutes or even an hour to even overnight. The longer, the better. The flavor and seasoning will get all in there. And I'm going to pop this in the fridge while we are making our pesto. While that's marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and start to heat up my cast iron grill because I want it nice and hot when I put those steaks on. I wanna hear that sizzle. Now it's time to make our super easy pesto. As I mentioned, this recipe is super easy, cost-friendly, and cuts down on food waste by repurposing ingredients. To make a good amount of pesto, some recipes call for five cups of basil. Well, basil is pretty pricey unless you grow your own, and if you do, I am so jelly right now. So instead, I'm just going to use a fraction of the amount of basil and add in some spinach instead. This will be a great way to use fresh spinach, save money, and add extra fiber and vitamins A, C, and K. We've already talked about the benefits of vitamins C and K, and vitamin A is good for your eye health. It also adds more minerals like potassium and iron to your food. Also, I'm using walnuts instead of pine nuts. Now, if you're allergic to nuts, just use sunflower seeds instead. And to top it all off, instead of oil, I'm using the leftover juice from a jar of roasted bell peppers. It adds a subtle smoky flavor that I think goes well with the garlic without being overpowering. Okay, first we're gonna add in our walnuts and garlic and pulse that a few times. Next, I'm gonna add in my basil, which smells amazing, and my spinach. And give that a pulse. Next, with the motor running, we're going to drizzle in some of the bell pepper juice. We want it to be a nice loose paste, not too loose, but not too thick either. Let's stop and scrape down the sides. This smells so delicious. Can't wait to eat it. Let's add a little more. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our Parmesan cheese, vegan, of course. Let's check our consistency. So it's totally what your preference is. I like mine to be pasty. Well, pesto is, is technically is a paste. So you want it to be not too loose, not too watery, but still spreadable. And since I can still see some of the Parmesan cheese in there, I'm going to process that a little bit more. And I haven't added any salt yet because Parmesan cheese typically has salt in it. So I'm gonna taste this first and see if we need any extra salt. But doesn't that look delicious? So let's give it a taste. I always forget to take my tasting spoon out first. 
Mm, that is delicious. I'm gonna add just a teeny tiny pinch of salt. Give it a quick pulse. And voila, you have made pesto. Let's go ahead and get this into a bowl and get it ready for our cauliflower steaks. Now that our grill is nice and hot, see I'm testing it with water to make sure it's sizzling. We're gonna go ahead and add our steaks. Notice that I did need to spray my grill first because the steaks have been marinating in liquid. So you hear that sizzle? That's what I'm talking about. And we're gonna cook these over medium to high heat. And let's turn on my fan so I don't set up my smoke alarm. And we're gonna cook them on each side for about five minutes. Now, I find that if I use my handy cast iron press, it kind of speeds up the cooking time a little bit by keeping everything in, in contact with the heat. So we're gonna just sit that on there and check back in a few minutes. While our steaks are cooking, let's talk about what we can do with the leftover pieces that we made from making the steaks. Here, I can make these into florets. I can also put these into my food processor and make my own cauliflower rice. What I like to do is make my own cauliflower rice and use it in either a stir fry or freeze it and put it in a smoothie. You can also, if you've got a really good chopping knife or a chef's knife, make your own cauliflower rice without a blender or a food processor. You can just finely chop, keep those fingers out of the way, and you can make your own cauliflower rice like so. So lots of different purposes, lots of different ways to use the cauliflower. Really just use your own imagination. And you can also cook these florets down, boil them basically, and then puree them into a nice mashed potato substitute. All right, it's been about five minutes. Let's check on these steaks. Look at how beautiful that is. And you see how it stays together because we've got that tough part in the middle. This cook. We can go ahead and baste it a little more as well. Let's baste it with a little more of our Worcestershire sauce. And you notice how we don't even need oil. This is not sticking to the to the pan or to the grill rather. It's going to be nice and flavorful and without using oil. So this is a great oil-free meal if you don't want a cup of oil. All right. Our second side is done. So now it's time to put this on a plate and top it with our pesto. All right, these are hot off the grill, so let's go ahead and slather on some of our pesto using a pastry brush. And here I am serving this with a mushroom risotto, but you can serve this with practically anything, a salad, stir fry, whatever your heart desires. Isn't that pretty? We're going to go ahead and give this a taste. And yes, I'm going to use a steak knife because these are cauliflower steaks. Don't judge me. Okay, now it's time for the chew test. How does it taste? I already know it's going to be delicious, but... Let's give it a try. See, I've got the pesto, I got a little bit of the rice from my, or the risotto. This tastes like a restaurant. The steak is cooked perfectly. It's not too firm. The pesto flavors, you really don't miss anything not using the oil. Like I said, the bell pepper juice, it's pretty subtle, so it plays well with the other flavors. This is delicious. Oh my goodness. This is really, really good. The garlic, the Parmesan cheese, those flavors still come through. This is 
absolutely a home run. Oil-free, cost-effective, no food waste, repurposed everything, didn't spend a lot of money on expensive ingredients, checks all the boxes, yes please. Be sure to try this for your meatless Monday and be sure to tag at Physician in the Kitchen with your mouth-watering photos. So there you have it. If you need more plant-based inspirations, be sure to grab a copy of Doc Fix My Plate, the Physician in the Kitchen's prescriptions for your healthy meal makeover. Until next time, I'm Dr. Monique telling you to keep it 100. Plant-based that is. See you in the kitchen, eat well. Thank you.